So my maintenance shop air conditioner stopped working again. Um, this actually happened about three weeks ago and I was able to get it going in the same method I'm about to show you. Um, I need to take it down and hopefully I'll make a upcoming video on that, uh, hopefully next week. Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. The AC won't turn on. Sometimes. This is very dangerous, so don't try this unless you know exactly what you're doing. And make sure that it's off and not spinning before putting your hands in there. It could very easily slice somebody's fingers off. No problem. So again, don't touch anything unless you know exactly what you're doing at your own risk. It's very dangerous. Oh, compressor but no fan. Probably need a new motor or a new capacitor. Yay! Well, I think I need a new capacitor and you can hear the, the compressor no kick on. There it goes. Yay! <laughs> Survive another day. But I need to take it down and replace the capacitors. That's what's going on. So normally I would use this one in the auto setup where it would turn off once it reached temperature. Now I'm just leaving it in the fan on on position as I don't want it to turn off until, um, and then uh, you know each day I can turn it off at the end of the day and then turn it back on but at least I can monitor it and restart it until I can pull it down and fix it which I hope to do hopefully tomorrow. I mean the day after tomorrow. Time permitting we'll see how it goes hopefully <laughs> and hopefully that does the trick as this is this is an antique for sure. Uh, this is an old window AC unit still going. You've probably seen it in some of my previous videos where I replaced the capacitors once before and I actually added uh, charging points to this one and balanced the charge and it's been working good. For about 15 years and I think it was about 15 years old maybe when I got it I think this thing's about 30 years old if not older. I've had opportunity to replace it, but I've liked this old unit and it's worked so well for so long that I'm there happy to keep it going hey. if I can keep it going. But Survive another day, tell on that. but I need to take it down and replace the Quick search of my YouTube channel. You should on. find a bunch of different videos that will be helpful to your maintenance needs. Also, there's links in the description below the videos to tools and parts used in the videos.